Hello everyone, welcome back to this third episode of the pen test. Our task is get root on the server. We've already done some code review and using email enumeration on the reset page, we were able to validate the existence of an email and based on the profile page, we were able to find a valid username. In this video, it's all about finding the password. So let's get started. So I'm just going to go real quick to the user.php file that we had access to that redirected to the logging and just verify if we could do something that would prevent us from doing some brute force. I really hate brute forcing. And so in this line we have, if the user isn't logged in, we just redirect to the URL, okay, and exit. Okay, we don't have any possibility to bypass this unless the is logging function is flawed. Let's uh, verify that real quick. So that would be under uh, lib and then users because it's a function that's uh, working on the, the users object. So in the is logging, it's only verifying if there is a session attribute called user. Okay, so we have no way to like inject this unless we have uh, the key that's that's been used to generate the cookie. So yeah, no luck here. But remember, uh, we are attackers and hackers always find a way. So I'm going to follow the lead of brute force. So in the previous video, we saw that we needed this token and uh, I'm going to automate this stuff so that we don't bother sending this because if we want to try to brute force this, like send this request, we will systematically have uh, invalid request here. Doesn't help. So how can we take the token from that response and replay it in the next request all transparently without having any trouble. Well, we can use something called macros inside burp suit. This is a feature that is available on the burp uh, community edition as well. It's also available on zap proxy if you want to give it a try. Um, so this is going to be a portion of the video that's dedicated and exclusive to the special members of the YouTube channel. If you are already a member, I really appreciate your support. It definitely helps me in boosting my motivation while staying hours trying to figure out how to solve the challenge and then share with you the results so that you can learn from them. So I really appreciate your support. And in return, this content is exclusive for you. So after we've uh, enabled our macro and configured our session handling rules. If I send a request like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe just six, maybe this would be the correct password and send it. It automatically updates the token and let's see if we get uh, lucky. Nope, but at least we didn't have invalid request. That's good. Okay, let's uh, continue our tests now. Now we are going to run this through the intruder. So I'm going to send this to the intruder. I'm going to clear everything. And I want to target the password. Let's add that. And then in the payloads, I'm just going to like search for the worst passwords worst passwords, maybe on GitHub. So let's grab that dictionary, choose the raw format and copy paste it and just paste it right here. Perfect. Let's start the attack and see if we get lucky. So it seems that we, we have something here that has a different length we render it. What do we have here? Username and password are wrong. Okay. 
And here we have what? Invalid request. Oh, why is this happening? We know that the macro works. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I know the problem. Basically, we need to give it some time to fetch the token and then replay it. So to tweak that down, we don't want to send like really super uh, speedy requests. What we want though is to go to resource pool and then we want to create something. I'm going to name it slow and steady. For the maximum requests, I'm just going to use one and I'm going to introduce a delay of 300 milliseconds uh, just for the time for the token to actually I'm just going to increase it a little bit okay everything seems fine now let's uh, give it a spin start the attack and what do we have here the response render Perfect, we have username or password are wrong, so it's basically trying every iteration without causing any token problems. Perfect. Okay, let's uh, maybe filter or sort by status code. Hmm. Okay, um, I think I have something here. If I sort by reverse order of the status code, we have uh, two uh, redirections here. And the first one is using uh, this password. The second one is using this. But because the request, we, we had the first one. The first one was 1234 because its ID is 104. And then after it, we had this one. I suspect that th this is, strangely enough, the password for the admin user. And I was so unlucky not to get it manually. I told you, I'm not good at brute forcing. All right, let's, uh, let's try that and see if uh, Indeed got access to the admin account. So that would be admin, one, two, three, four, hit enter. And we get redirected to the root file. If we click on test two, oh, we have a new tab, admin, cool. We were able to bypass, well, not bypass authentication, but brute force it um, using burp to bypass the CSERF or anti CSERF token. How cool is that? Perfect. If you're interested in learning more about these techniques, if you are interested in pursuing an ethical hacker career, then I encourage you to head over to academy.thehackerish.com. There you will find online courses that you can enroll to and just find a suitable course for you. It should give you a great start. So in the next video, we're going to explore those internal features and see if uh, we could maybe get a foothold on the system. I'm sure that now things are getting really interesting. So stay tuned, subscribe and hit the ring bell to receive the video once it goes live. As always, stay curious, keep learning, and go find some bugs.